separate the companies that take the organizational health index into quartiles, and they're not all public companies, but hundreds of them are. And the top quartile makes uh, literally three times as much money for shareholders as the bottom quartile and almost twice as much as the middle 50%. I think my personal theory is we're in a winner-take-all world that being really good matters a lot. Being a little better than average doesn't, doesn't matter so much. When you look at those top uh, health, top performance companies, we saw something fascinating, which is we kind of assumed going into it that speed and stability would be antagonistic to each other. And, and there were a lot of companies where they were. There's really fast, chaotic startup companies, and there's really bureaucratic, you know, s slow moving companies. Neither of those really showed up in the top quartile. The companies that did show up in the top quartile, uh, an enormous number of them, like 80% of them, managed to do both. And we really didn't, didn't expect that. So it, it led to uh, a lot of learning, a lot of searching, a lot of talking to those companies to, to discuss what they do that's, that's different. It's been fascinating for us.